Hello everyone. In this new video, we will learn that what are the new features that has been introduced in SPSS 29 version. But before moving to the new features, if you are new here, do not forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss a new video. So let's move toward the new features that has been introduced in SPSS 29. If you can see that here, now we have three windows like we have overview, data view and variable view in windows in the in front of us. So if we move to the overview window, we, now we can see that here we can have the summary of our whole data. Like I can see that I have 135 variables for 39 cases. These are the observations that have been collected from the participant. I can see that how many how many variables I have measured on scale level, ordinal or nominal level. And I, I can also see that the summary of my uh, scale uh, missing values and how many missing values are there in my data set. I can also uh, explore data with charts here. So this is the new tab or you can say new window has been introduced in SPSS 29. So let's move to the other features. If you can go to the analyze option, you can see that they have introduced the power analysis. It was also present in SPSS 29. You can use power analysis to calculate the sample size of for your data and uh, for your thesis or dissertation, and you can ca calculate the sample size for your data analysis technique. The next feature is meta analysis. You, you can calculate the meta analysis and uh, this feature was also present in SPSS 29. If we move to the compare means and proportions option, we can see that here we can calculate the independent sample t-test. So what's new is in, in new uh, in independent sample t-test. Now we can calculate the effect size of our independent sample t-test. In previous version, this feature was not available and we have to calculate the effect size manually, but now we can calculate this by simply clicking on this option. And what's the new here? We can go to regression option and now we can calculate the different alternatives of OLS regression, which is ridge, lasso and elastic net. We can now calculate these options from just simply clicking on this option. So previously we have to calculate the process macro analysis by adding the features of Andrew F. Hayes plugin. But now in SPSS 29, we just have this option by default in SPSS 29. We do not have to, you know, add in the new feature of or the process macro option of SPSS uh, and by uh, that has been introduced by Andrew F. Hayes. It was uh, by default available in SPSS 29. If we move toward uh, reliability option, now we can have reliability analysis option here and we can find out the Omega option. And this was not present in the previous version, like it was present in SPSS 28 and it has also been introduced in SPSS 29. You can you now calculate the Omega reliability by just simply clicking on this option. So these are some new features that was available uh, for social sciences in SPSS 29. You can explore more if you are if you belong to some other uh, uh, disciplines like uh, marketing and um, and in medical, like they have introduced something new in survival and other uh, simulations option in SPSS 29. So that's all for social science researchers. Thank you for watching this video. Bye.